I'm Ian Campbell here at Calgary's Canada Olympic Park, the site of some phenomenal feats during the 1988 Winter Olympics. Officials have been checking out this venue and others throughout the city as it explores the possibility of putting forth a 2026 Winter Games bid. Calgary has been grappling with whether or not it could be a two-time host for some time now, and it appears it's much closer to making a decision than politicians let on. According to a leaked report on the City of Calgary website, Council will be asked to pitch in $2.5 million more on Wednesday. It would bring the city's total cost of a bid to $9.5 million if the funds are approved, roughly a third of the $30 million cost. The interesting part here is the report suggests the city has received confirmation of financial support from both the federal and the provincial governments. It's something Premier Notley or her cabinet have yet to acknowledge. Now this still needs council's approval and not everyone has been excited about the costs surrounding this bid. Ward 11 councillor Jeremy Farkas wants a plebiscite to put the power in the hands of the people. It will take uh, just a little bit of time to come up with the, the right question so that it sends a, a clear message to council. But I would have to push back a little bit about some of the, the critics who have said that uh, crafting the right question is impossible. Frankly, I think it's pretty simple. It probably comes down to, uh, as a taxpayer, do you want to, to host the games and essentially write uh, a blank check? Plebiscites are non-binding and could cost the city upwards of $2 million. Other councillors took to Twitter to show their displeasure about the report being leaked. It has since been taken down. Ward 7's Drew Farrell says, quote, This is the second accidental release of information. I don't buy it. It's unacceptable that council continues to learn of key information on this massive project through the media. Calgarians we spoke with were all on board about being a two-time host. I think we can do it. In fact... Korea can host it. I think we can certainly handle that. I think it'd be awesome. It was amazing in 88 when I was here and I think it'd be great. We have all the infrastructure that we still use and we've been an international location to see development happen. And I think it'd be great to see that money continue to be spent on our kids and for future kids. I think it'd be awesome. I feel great. It'll be a great opportunity for Calgary, for the rest of the world. We'll put ourselves on the map again. Now a bid committee would include representatives from the city, the province, the federal government, the town of Canmore, the Canadian Paralympic Committee, as well as indigenous communities throughout the region. It goes on to say, should the city not proceed with a bid, any unused funds will be returned to the source. The mayor is now commenting on the release of this report, but a spokesperson in his office says the wrong version was inadvertently released and so far there has been no formal confirmation of funds. Ian Campbell, City News, Calgary.